Hey, what's going on everybody? We are out here, just outside of Atlanta, over next to the airport. If you listen loud enough, you can hear a plane. In uh, Southview Cemetery again, which I didn't know he was here last time or we would have done it the last time we, I was here, to visit the grave of William Franklin Guest. Now, if you don't know who that is, he was a part of Gladys Knight and the Pips and a acclaimed, you know, singer and had some, you know, well-known hits. The, you know, Gladys Knight and the Pips had a, you know, a few well-known hits. And uh, so what I've done is I've come over to the back side of this cemetery. I feel like I've done the whole front side. Like during Black History Month, I feel like, you know, we did three or four videos here. There was uh, Hank Aaron's over here. Julian Bond, Robert Lewis, John Robert Lewis, Martin Luther King's dad and brother are here. All those videos are on the channel. They're on the uh, Black History Month section. But yeah, so let me get that out of the way and say if this is your first time here, hey, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if not, and if this is not, sorry, I got distracted. And if this is not your first time here, uh, welcome back. I, have, I, I think I have this undiagnosed ADD or something, but sorry, sometimes it happens. Yeah, so let me, uh, I got some merch, got the uh, shirt and everything on. I have a member section and all that good stuff. Somebody told me to plug it in the beginning. So I've been doing that lately. All right, with all that said, I think I'm going to explore a little bit of this older, I don't know if it's the older part or not. It appears to be the older side of the cemetery. I'm gonna walk around, we'll see what kind of cool graves we can find. We'll talk about uh, Mr. Guest's life and you know all the things that he did, or a little bit about it anyway. And uh, yeah, just see what we can run into while we're over here. Maybe get a, a cool little, find a cool little grave and stuff like that. So yeah, sorry, sometimes the intros get a little long. So with all that said, Let's get to looking. I'm excited about being on this side of the cemetery this time. So coming from up there is the entrance. We are way back here in the back. First time I've drove back here because normally the graves that I go visit are up front. So I thought, hey, while we're here, let's just try to do a little tour, a small little tour of what this cemetery has to offer because I know it's a historical cemetery. I thought it was predominantly an African-American cemetery, which in the comments you could let me know if it is or if it isn't. But I can never pass up on a good grave that's got poison ivy or whatever that is growing up on it because to me I know that's historical. This thing's been here for at least a little while, and that uh, always piques my interest to see something as beautiful as this. To some people, it may not look beautiful, but it does to me. It is, I wonder if this is the Sims plot. You can see that right there's the name, but this one does not have a name. If it does, it would be on top, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to read it. positive it would probably be up there but that's about as close as we're going to get to finding out anything this section seems like an older section uh 1907 on one of the stones so yeah let's see what this is let's walk over here Bethel Amy Church, Atlanta, Georgia. Independent Daughters and Sons Bethel Society, Independent Daughters. Founded in 1880 and dedicated in 2012. So I don't know. 
I guess I'm walking on graves. I don't know. Let me get off of this. I know some people have this weird thing where they don't care, but where I grew up, it was a, a big no-no. You don't walk on a grave. That one lady that I interviewed in Mississippi acted like it wasn't a big deal to her. So I guess it depends on where you're from, what difference it makes. See, some of these are from the 40s and yeah, that's all good and grown up over there, isn't it? So let's make our way back. Let's head back towards the car and I'll start talking about Mr. Guest. Well, hold on, before we get here, let's go look at this one first. So Guest was born here in Atlanta in 1941. He was an original member of Gladys Knight and the Pimps, like I said earlier. I want to say pimps, but I know that's not right. It's pips. With his sister Eleanor and cousins Brenda Gladys Bubba Knight. He performed background vocals on such recordings as Every Beat of My Heart, I Heard It Through the Grapevine, which is a classic, isn't it? If I Were Your Woman and Midnight Train to Georgia, and so many more. It almost looks like it used to be an old walkway doesn't it like you could walk through the cemetery that way guest had occasional lead recordings during the group's long career including a 1964 b-side maybe maybe baby to their original recordings of giving up and window raising granny from their 1973 hit album imagination Window Raising Granny was sampled by L. O. Cool J and Christina Aguilera, among, you know, others. Driving down the road a little bit further. This will be towards the front end of the cemetery. You can see the main road right there. And I believe he's buried just right up there, probably next to Hank Aaron and Martin Luther King Sr. and the brother. But... I wanted to walk up these steps and see what's going on over here. Older cemeteries are unique and great. They're almost like works of art in their own right. It's like they didn't set out to be a work of art, but over time, see these are all graves from the 30s and 40s that a tree has grown up right in the middle of the graves isn't that unique headed over to find the grave and I saw this plaque that explains that in February of 1886, a group of formerly enslaved African-American men, Jacob McKinley, George Graham, Robert Grant, Charles Morgan, Albert Watts, and John Render petitioned, petitioned the state of Georgia for a charter to establish the Southview Cemetery Association. The new cemetery gave African-Americans an alternative to Atlanta's segregated burial grounds and provided an environment where they would be buried with dignity. Originally 25 acres, Southview has expanded to approximately 100 acres and contains over 70,000 burials. So yeah, that answers the question earlier of the all African American cemetery, doesn't it? Let's head on over there and let's find the grave. So the plaque is up there. And before we find Mr. Guest, his resting place, which there's a guest right there. I assume that's where he's at. I'm going to walk down here and show you where Martin Luther King's parents are and Hank Aaron. If you haven't watched those videos, there's no need to now because I'm hooking you up with some extra stuff here. See right there? The Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and his wife, Alberta crazy he was held hostage by um god what i can't remember his name now anyway and there's hank aaron right there hammer and hank 
hands down, if not the greatest. I mean, he's on the Mount Rushmore of baseball, right? Sam Jackson. Don't let me forget right there. Sam Jackson. I finally remembered it. Pulled it out of the old brain right there. Yeah. He was held hostage by Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know if Sam Jackson's proud of that, but he did it. So in 2015, Guest passed away on December 24th of heart failure in Detroit, where he lived for nearly 50 years at the age of 74. Just like I thought, right next to Guest. Right there it is, William Guest. I sing because I'm free. I sing because I'm happy. I would assume that's what that says. I sing because I'm free. July 2nd to December 24th. So there it is, right there. William Guest, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Gladys Knight and the Pips, man. Like, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to the side. I mean, Gladys Knight and the Pips, man. They, like, helped change music. Like, they were great. They were just one of those cool old school bands, right? In this cemetery that he's interred in, like, all the historic, you know, African Americans that are here, like I was saying earlier, it's really cool. And uh, I'm sure there's more here that I'm going to discover and we'll come back and visit, especially um, once I start digging in. There's all kinds of history. There's always history at a cemetery, right? You just got to dig for it and you got to find it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, you know, thanks. I hope you like it. Subscribe if you made it this far. Thank you so much. I always say every video, you don't know what it means to me for you to watch these videos. I'm glad that you and I and me and you, we get to go along and we get to we get to visit these together for the first time. It's not like I've ever been here before, so it's like a first time for both of us. Sometimes it's exciting, it's fun, like this, like Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, like Gladys Knight and the Pips, right? And then sometimes, you know, it's it's got a heavier feel. Like if we go to, you know, somebody that their life was cut short or something like that. Like tragically, right? So, yeah. Now that I got us down to the dumps, I want to say thank you for watching again. You really honestly don't know what it means. I've got, you know, once again, we got merch. And I got the, uh, the member section and all that stuff. If you can help out, that's cool. If not, I get it. Hey gas is four dollars a gallon and the world is upside down like i said in grandpa jones's video some time ago like i get it like i completely understand so, yeah it's a lot isn't it the world's crazy right now so thanks so much for watching and you know what let me get over here and do my little cheesy thing you never know what you're going to find on the back roads thank you guys so much